What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys the Sunflower Pokemon. We got ourselves a Sunflora team for ranked regulation H. Now, when it comes to Sunflora, this Pokemon is rather weaker than most Pokemon, but given it learns the solar power ability, which we are rocking with today, we're going to be pairing it up with Torkoal, putting it in Trick Room, and having this Pokemon thrive out. Now, Sunflora is holding the Iron Ball, obviously, because we are using a Trick Room team today with Solar Beam, Earth Power, Weather Ball, and Protect, and it also has that Stellar Tyro type for even more of a damage boost. Now, Torkoal, like I mentioned, is going to be Sunflora's best friend. We're trying to bring the Sunflora next to the Torkoal, allowing it to thrive out. This Torkoal has pretty standard moveset, Eruption, Heat Wave, Earth Power, and Protect with Charcoal and Drought. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features one off-meta Pokemon and three standard meta Pokemon. Off meta Pokemon is going to be Delphox, and the other three are going to be Indeedee, Ursaluna, and Porygon 2. Now, Porygon 2 and Indeedee are going to be our Trick Room setters, whereas Ursaluna and Delphox are going to be our attackers. Ursaluna is going to be Physical Attacker with Flame Herb, Flame Herb, Flame Orb, and Delphox is going to be our Special Attacker with Expanding Force and the Psychic Seeds. Guys, you want to run the scene for yourself? Metal Code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Sunflora in ranked regulation H. Looks like we're going up against a Sun team as well. They got Torkoal, they got Charizard, they don't have Trick Room, but they do have Ferrigarath. So this one should be a close matchup. I definitely want to set up Trick Room here to get things started. But who do I lead and how do I play it? I think indeed he's the better lead. Considering they have Incineroar and Robum to fake out users, so if I can just like, you know, pull out terrain here, allow it not to fake out, set up the trick room, and kind of go from there, I think that's definitely gonna play. So we're gonna end up going into Indeed here. I think for our lead, we can also go into Torkoal early on here. We could easily just protect. Or I could go Sunflora and protect. I think going into Sunflora and protecting is probably a better call for us. So I'm going to go into Sunflora. I am going to go into Torkoal just because I want Torkoal. And last but not least, I think Ursa Luna Bear is definitely a better option for us. I like it. Another thing is, if we go into Indeedee and Sunflora and we just protect and are able to get off Trick Room, I can swap into Torkoal and have Indeedee later. So if I need to pop another Trick Room next to Ursa Luna, I have that option. That's pretty much my plan. We'll see how this one plays out. Let's see. Let's see. I don't want to get I don't want to get ahead of myself here. I really don't. I really don't. Because again, they do have Charizard, and Charizard is a massive threat. A big time threat. So let's see. They're gonna end up going Town Flame and Torkoal here. They could end up taunting me, which honestly is a little scary. Definitely is a little scary. So some floors out here. Eruption looking terrifying. Um I could just attack, in all honesty. I could just attack, because how fast are you some floor? How fast are you? 31 with Iron Ball. You might be slower than Torkoal. <laughs> this is bad news. This is bad news. I have Grass Terror type, but that's not too good for Indeedee. I'm just going to go for this Trick Room. I'm just going to protect some for her. Hopefully, they just protect the Torkoal. They withdraw the Torkoal. So, Torkoal with the withdrawal. Hopefully, no Taunt pops out here. And I'm able to get this off because Rillaboom's going to fly out here and get rid of Terrain. The Terrain is gone. We're just protecting the Sun Flora. Trying to play it simple. Trying to play it slow. Um, I'm going to end up protecting my boy, my Sunflower. We love it. So Sunflower gets to protect. Brave Bird's going to launch into it. Great turn on our end. The Trick Room's going to come out and about. Um, I think from here, in all honesty, instead of just swapping into Torkoal right now, because Sun's already out, which is great. I think we just follow me with Indeedee and we allow Sunflower to kind of just pester around with like Weather Ball and stuff like that. Honestly, they could fake me out here, but, um... I might, uh, do I swap? Hmm. I'm just gonna go for a follow me here. Follow me, Weather Wall. They could fake me out, but let's see how this one plays out. The fake out does go into the Indeedee slot. That's fine. I mean, if some floor dies out to this Brave Bird, I'll take that all day, considering this Weather Ball should be able to do. Oh, you got the first turn Gale Wings priority. Hate that. Hate that hate that it's fine we're still chilling here we are still chilling so some floor was looking to rip up there gale wings had other options i mean going into torkoal is probably our play here or even ursa luna would be bad i think we just go into torkoal and we fire terror erupt i think that's hands down our play i really do i think we just take this to the i think we just take eruption to victory here we just go for helping hands here as well helping hand erupt let's do it. it's gonna do so much damage it's gonna do so much damage but man, dude, Gale Wings, come on, man. My Sunflora was about to start ripping. 
Nice little weather ball. I kind of forgot about Kaylee. Since I was ready to dump on this uh, Robin with weather ball and then have Talonflame hit me with Brave Bird. So I, I, I was all for the one for one trade, but and then bringing out Torkoal and doing exactly what we're doing right here. But we should be fine here. I, I, still, I still think we're cool. I still think we're chilling. So Torkoal's going to come out here, put on a nice little fire tower on its head. And we should just be able to just absolutely rip, right? Yeah, helping hand. We're going to say bye-bye to Robin. This is definitely going to say bye-bye to Talonflame as well. And yeah, I mean, I mean, we're sitting in a, in a pretty position right now. A real pretty position. Bye-bye, both of you guys. See you later. Gone. All right, so now another problem that we have here is it kind of comes down to which Torkoal outspeeds right now. Because if my Torkoal's outspeeding their Torkoal and we get off Eruption first and foremost, that's huge. But if we're not, like, minimum on speed, I don't know if I want to go into an Eruption here. I think I'd rather go into, like, a Heat Wave and play it safe. We still have Ursa Luna. Charizard's gonna come out here. Charizard is still going to take a ridiculous amount of damage to this Helping Hand Eruption. It might even KO it. And it's kind of weird. Why isn't this Charizard flying? Aren't most Charizards flying? Like, in their animation? Look at him. He's just standing there. He's just standing there. That's weirding me out. I don't like that. Let's check our Torkoal speed before we actually do anything. 22. Minimum nature is our, uh... Our nature's minimizing speed. So, yeah. This is the slowest... At slowest possible Torkoal can get. So I'm just going to go into a Helping Hand Eruption. I'm ready to send it. I'm ready to send it. Helping Hand Eruption. Let's do it. Let's do it. Out will come a Terror type. Most likely from Charizard. I wouldn't be surprised to see it being fire on Charizard and him looking to do some damage. And yeah, it's going to be fire Terror Charizard. And again, still, if I can get this Helping Hand Eruption before their Torkoal attacks, I think we pretty much win this game. Let's see. Oh, we're going, we're going both sides. His Torkoal's helping handing. Hold up. All right, I'm going to be able to go first, which is good news. But I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> I'm doing the same thing. I'm doing the same thing. This could KO Charizard. I wouldn't be surprised if it does, right? Stab, Terra Boosted, Sun Boosted, Helping Hand Boosted, Charcoal Boosted. Yeah, thanks for playing. This, that, that's OP. That, that, that shouldn't be in the game. We need to get a, a petition going. We need to ban Torkoal Eruption. We need to ban it. It's got to get out of here. That, that was just ridiculous. Seriously, does Game Freak really think Torkoal is fair in Trick Room? That Pokemon is ridiculously strong. It is so hard to play up against once you get Trick Room set up. I wish we were able to use some Flora a little bit in uh, match number one, but Talonflame had other plans, kind of just dump it on. We're going to try to use it here in match number two. They got themselves a Zoro team, which they're probably going to lead. They also got Ndidi. They got Ndidi Armors. They got um, Primarina and Dragonite and Sneasler. And Sneasler. Can't forget about Sneasler, but Ndidi is definitely going to be our lead. Just in case they want to lead maybe like a fake out user like Sneasler. I just like having Indeed here. Plus, I like its typing. I think it's really good. I think it is phenomenal. So we're going to go Indeed in here. Try to pop a trick room early on here. And I could end up just going some Flora. I got a few options here. I do have a few options. I could go into maybe like Porygon 2 instead. Porygon 2 might be able to outbulk some shots. What's your terror type, Porygon? Fighting. You know what? Yeah, we're going to go Porygon instead. Eh. Do I want Port no, I'd rather have a DD with the Rocky Helmet, to be honest. Actually, no. We're going to go you. You're a bit bulkier. You are way bulkier. So I'm going to do that. Um, I am going to lead it with Sun Flora. I like Sun Flora. Actually, I'm going to go in DD Sun Flora. I'm doing the same thing. I am doing the same exact thing that we did in the last match. We'll bring Torkoal, and we will bring Ursula. Two seconds left to hit done, and I got it. I got it. Don't worry, guys. I got it. I got the team clicked. All right, so we're going in with the Indeed again. I, I wanted to go in the Porygon too, but after like thinking about it, I was just like, the follow me is so clutch. It really is. Like being able to just redirect moves is very big, but we got to watch out for a, do a few double hitting moves, especially like armors, right? Let's see. We're going to end up bleeding Sneasler and Indeed. So Psychic Seed is going to pop here. Um, I think we just protect the Sun Floor. What? We got we to watch out for a Dire Claw. That's really where we're at. That is really where they're at. Do we think they have Imprison? Trick Room? They could. They could. So this thing's going to unburden pop. I think we just go for a Trick Room here. I think we keep our typing. I like our typing. And we just protect the Sun Forward because there is a hot chance that they could just go for Dire Claw. And look to rip up all my pretty little Sunflower. So out comes Terror Type. Let's see who's cooking with it. It is going to be Sneasler. So Sneasler's going to click that Terror Type. And he's going straight dark. You got Throw Chop. We're going to say bye bye to Indeedy. Indeedy's dead, man. He's dead. My Trick Room Setter is dead. Oh, we are so dead. 
Please attack Sunflora. We're so dead. Is this throw chop? Is this throw chop? I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. All I want to do is use Sunflora. We're so dead. Please soak this up somehow, some way. Yeah. Not looking good for you, boy. All right, now some four is on the field. I mean, they're just going to probably switch to Dire Claw. I mean, I could bring out Twerkle and pose that threat, which I am going to do. Going right into my Twerkle. Get it, Twerkle. So now I pose that threat of being able to just rip an eruption. That's really where we're at. So I could erupt. I am going to go into Heat Wave instead in case they want to just attack me. And I am also just going to double down into the Sneasler. And look to get rid of it. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is terrible. This is terrible. Helping Hand's gonna come out here. I think he's gonna want to attack the Torkoal again. Attack the Torkoal, please. Yep, throw a chop flying here. Torkoal, can you soak this? You should be able to. All day, Torkoal. Okay, we're still chilling. We're still chilling. Heat Wave gonna launch here. How much damage are we doing? Not KOing any of them. You gotta bury. But some floor is gonna be able to pick up its first KO of this video, which is great. Which is beautiful. Lovely. Solar Beam launching. Get it, some floor. Get it. The Sunflower doing its best. We don't have Trick Room that's rough for us, but the Sunflower picking up a KO here. Beautiful. All right, Sneasler gone, Terror type gone. Um, we still have Ursula Luna, but again, no Trick Room really, really just sucks, man. Really does suck. It's really terrible. Now, do they have Armor Rouge? I feel like they have Armor Rouge, right? There it is. Armor Rouge comes out here. Um, that Pokemon's a little bit of a problem. I could go for Heat Wave, but I mean, Flash Fire is probably a thing, so I'm gonna do that and try to go for an Earth Power. Our Terra types really don't help out here. I could protect some Flora, or I could swap. Now we're just gonna attack here. We're just gonna attack. Helping Hand comes out here. You're gonna go for Heat Wave. Torkoal, how much damage can you do here? He's gonna go for Heat Wave. Expanded Force instead. Can you soak this on Flora? Nope. No shot. Rough second match for us. <laughs> Real rough second match. Brutal second match for us. I mean, we still have Ursa Luna, but yeah, this was just a brutal one. Once I took out our Trick Room user, I was like, oh man. It just it just wasn't good for us. It just wasn't good. Now, I have Ghost Terror type still. I could send it. Uh, Protect's definitely going to be our call here. Just so we can trigger the... Uh, just so we can trigger the Guts. Because we definitely want to go for an EQ. And we'll see, he's just gonna protect here. I'm protecting here as well. So double protect. Oh, you double protect. We're all protecting. Everybody protects. You protect. You protect. I protect. Everybody protects. This is great. And it's gonna fail. Because, you know, it doesn't do anything. But I get off the flame one. Which is great. Um. I mean, EQ definitely would play. Or I could facade. Oh, they don't have terror type. They don't have terror type. I just realized that. Yeah, we're just gonna go into an EQ. Helping hand comes out here. Expanded force. We already know expanded force is flying. And how much damage is this doing? That's the real question. How much damage are you doing? I kind of feel like how our opponent felt in the last match. That is ridiculous. We should ban that too. We should ban that too. So far, this video has just been weird. We've been seeing a lot of helping hand, a lot of expanded forces, a lot of heat waves, a lot of eruptions, just everything going weirdly and oddly like one shot KOs all day we got to use some floor just a tad bit in that last match picked up a KO with solar beam but I really want to use it to its fullest potential here in our third and final match we're going up against a Venusaur team with Rillaboom, Gardevoir, Incineroar, Snorlax and last but not least they have Dragapult. Now Dragapult obviously super scary I kind of want to go into P2 to set the trick room here I think that's just a better option for us just such a solid Pokemon and that is exactly what I'm going to do we're going to go P2 early on here and I am going to end up leading it with... Am I going with Torkoal here? I could go with Torkoal. Just set the sun right off the rip. And we'll go Sunflora and Ursaluna. I'm all about it. So same squad pretty much. Besides we're swapping out Indeedee with Porygon 2. A bit of a bulkier. Uh, Trick Room Center. We still have to watch out for Fake Out with like Incineroar. But I still think we're fine. I really do. Let's see what they end up doing here. But yeah, that last match, it was just like, Sneasler went to that Dark Terror type. I was just like, oh no, Third Chop is going to end me. That was a good call on the right. And then they just took out our Trick Room user. It kind of just ran away with that match. <coughs> Even though Sunflora was like, nah, yo, I'm picking up a KO. Dropped a nice little Solar Beam. But they end up going into these two. Um, You could Belly Drum. I, mm, You could Sleep Powder me as well. 
That's something I do not like. That's something I do not like. You got fighting terror P2. Um, you know what? If you're gonna do that, you're just gonna have to take this heat wave. You're just gonna have to take this heat wave. Snorlax is probably thick fat. Kind of hope we get off a burn here. But yeah, I'm just gonna attack. You're probably gonna try to put me to sleep, right? Yeah. I mean, I see that coming from 55,000 miles away. So it puts P2 to sleep. We're kind of just spamming trigger and trying to pull that off. Um, Giga Impact's gonna launch into Torkoal, which is why I want to go for Heat Wave. And Giga Impact's doing some damage. He must recharge now, which is good news. Heat Wave's gonna land. Bye bye Venusaur, unless you're sashed. Or not. Or you just soak it, no problem. And we do get a burn on Snorlax, which is massive. Which is massive. So right now we're kind of just wasting out some turns. Trying to get off this Trick Room. We gotta, we gotta wake up here. And I think we just protect Torkoal, right? Because you could put me to sleep. You could also attack me. Actually, we might as well just attack. If you want to put me to sleep, you can put me to sleep. We might as well just send another Heat Wave, right? So we'll click Trick Room again, hoping Porygon 2 can wake up. Because once it wakes up, it's night-night. And yeah, you can put me to sleep. I don't mind. Sharks has got to, uh... Shox has got to uh, wake up or uh, recharge, which is fine. And Porygon, can you wake up here? No, you waste out another turn. So, actually, wait. Porygon didn't even sleep yet. Nope, there's your sleep. Okay, so now we're sitting here, two Pokemon asleep. Trying to slow play it. Trying to get off this Trick Room. Trying to get out some Flora. Um, I could swap Torkoal and save it for later. Maybe just go into some Flora now. Hmm. Definitely want to go in the Trick Room. The Trick Room's going to fly out here. Um... I could swap them. We might want Sun for later, but if you go into Giga Impact, I think Sun Floor would be a good swap here. I think P2 wakes up. That's the thing. And if it doesn't, we could just protect. We could just protect. We're going to go into Sun Flora. Let's get the Sun Floor out here. So, hard swap into Sun Flora. Get this Pokemon out here. And a Sludge Bomb. Really? A Sludge Bomb is going to fly here? Really? Really? And he's gonna brick break. Can you wake up here, P2? You've gotta wake up here. Really a three turn sleep? That's brutal. That is brutal. So three turn sleep so far, solar power is just chunking up my sun floor. We got maybe one turn left in sun floor. I gotta protect here. And really they use sludge bomb into that slot. Really sucked. Alright, so trick room here again. We are just going to protect sun floor. And let solar power chip away. We're gonna get. We're, we're only gonna be able to get off one turn with some floor, which really sucks. Really sucks. It really sucks. But still, they, they withdraw Snorlax. They show another Pokemon. We got to burn on Snorlax, which is massive. We still have Ursula in it, and Incineroar's gonna come out here. Yeah, okay, never mind. Our Sun Floor is pretty much dead. Our Sun Floor is pretty much dead if they fake it out for the KO. Attack's gonna drop. Protect comes out from the, from our Sunflower. We have to swap this thing just to save it for a turn. Sludge Bomb flies, and we block it. That's big news. That's big time news. That's huge news. The P2 wakes up. Trick Room's gonna launch. Um, I think we have to swap to Sun Flora. I think we do. I think it's an absolute must. The Solar Power chips up. If they can just fake me out now. Um, I think we have to swap Sun Flora. I want to keep it. I want this thing to do stuff. I want this thing to do stuff. Um, yeah, we're pretty much forced to swap, and I'm going to go into Ursa Luna. I'm going to swap some floor. It, it dies out if not, because I, I do believe that they're going to go for fake out in that slot. And I bring out Ursa Luna. So we finally got off Trick Room here. Ice Beam's going to launch. And wow, we actually could have attacked with some floor. They're not going for fake out, surprisingly enough. Seems like they want to go for maybe like a knockoff here. Flare Blitz into P2, and P2's just gonna outbulk the shot all day. The so P2's soaking, we got out Ursaluna. They burned me, I burned them earlier, but luckily P2's not a physical attacker. Luckily P2's not a physical attacker. The sunlight is gone, I still have some Flora now. Um, I think they want to KO P2 very, very soon. And honestly, I might just KO my own P2 with an EQ, to be honest. I'm kind of thinking about it. Not even, not even sugarcoat in the situation, I'm really thinking about just... KO my P2. Yeah, it's Snorlax. We're KO P2. We are so KO P2. P2, you're dead. I'm sorry. I hate to do this to you, but I'm going to do this to you. We're going to Terra Blast. Just send us over into Snorlax. They could Terrasalize into Ghost, but I'm fine with that. So I'm just going to send an EQ. And we're looking to do as much damage as we possibly can. So, so far, 
This match is, dude, this video has been so odd. It really has been. It really has been. We lost our sum four in match number one. Match number two, it picked up the lonesome KO for our team. And now here, we swapped it in at like the worst possible time. When I thought it was a good swap, and then they ended up sending Sludge Bomb into me. I was like, come on, man. Really, Sludge Bomb? Really? Sludge Bomb? Out comes the Ghost Terror for Incineroar. No big deal. We still have a few turns left in Trick Room. And from here, EQ is going to launch. We're going to say bye-bye to our Porygon. And we pick up a KO onto Strongx. And we go low HP onto, onto Incineroar. So that's great. So that's going to come to their shop. Actually, they got a nice little Citrus Berry. Or is that a Figgy? I think it's Citrus. No, it's a Weeki. A Weeki Berry coming out here. And he's going to rip a Fire Blood. So he's going to take some recoil damage here. Do about half of our HP. And again, we're sitting pretty nicely here. And the real question is, do I just go into Sunfloor? I think so. I think so. Our Torkoal is still asleep, which really sucks, but I really want to utilize these Trick Room teams. I'm going to bring out Sunflora. So Sunflora here. Um, and I'm really hoping... Hmm, I could... How many turns left in Trick Room? Two. I really want to utilize these turns. That's my thing. I can't use Solar Beam in one. Should just go Stellar Terror and look to do as much damage as we can. What is my play call here? I think we just look to chip up damage because some four is going to go first. I think we just go here in the Gardevoir and we just rip an EQ. I really do. Some four is slower. Some four is slower. So we're going to sacrifice our some four just to pick up some damage. I like it. That's what we're doing. We're sacrificing some four. Earth Power is going to chip up minimal damage. Nothing crazy. Actually, that's actually decent damage. And EQ now flies, which is going to KO the Incineroar and hopefully KO the Gardevoir. It does. So Sunflora taking a sacrifice shot to go out on top in today's video. Didn't really get to use it too well, but still, the power of Sunflora was showcased today. So guys, I tried in today's video. I tried using an off-meta Pokemon. Didn't really work out too well, but it kind of did work out well considering we got ourselves a winning record. We tried to use Sunflora as much as we can. Ended up getting dumped on a couple of times, but it did pick up some damage and it did pick up a KO in today's video. So I'm happy with this one. I'm definitely happy with this one. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.